Hi, first graders. We are on Knowledge 2, Lesson 8, Five Keys to Health. Our first vocabulary word, which you probably are already familiar with, is exercising. Say exercising. Exercising is participating in activities that use physical efforts. And the next word is healthy. Say healthy. Healthy means you are strong and well. And the last one is nutritious. Say nutritious. Nutritious means full of vitamins and nutrients to keep you healthy. Hi everybody, it's your old pal, Dr. Wellbody. We've been learning a lot about the human body. Now I'm back to talk about how you can take care of yours. Remember that there is only one you that makes you special. You can take good care of your body by giving it certain things it needs to keep it healthy. So, here are five things to do to take care of special you. Number one, eat well. Your body needs lots of energy to keep it going. You need energy to work and to play. You need energy to grow. Energy comes from food. Food is the fuel your body runs on, just like a car runs on gas. But some foods are much better for you than others. The best foods to keep you going and growing are nutritious foods. They have lots of nutrients, such as proteins and vitamins, that will help keep you well. Nutritious foods include fruits, vegetables, whole wheat bread, brown rice, nuts, fish, and chicken. What about sweet, sugary foods like candies or cookies? They may taste good and give you some quick energy, but it wears off fast, leaving you feeling weak and hungry again. These foods are only good to eat once in a long time while as a special treat. Eating these foods regularly can make you gain weight and give you cavities or small holes in your teeth. Fatty foods like bacon, french fries, and chips are not very nutritious either. They can make you gain weight and slow you down. By eating nutritious foods, you'll be able to think better, jump higher, run faster, and even grow stronger. Part of eating well means knowing what to drink. Do you have some plants at home or maybe in your classroom that need to be watered? Every plant and animal needs water. And guess what? You do too. Much of your body is made of water. You have water in your muscles and around your brain. Your spit, sweat, urine, and blood are mostly made of water. Because water is so important to your body, make sure you drink plenty of it every single day. Number two, exercise. Your body is made for moving, for running and jumping, pushing and pulling, dancing and diving, throwing and catching, leaping and skipping. Participating in an activity in which you are moving your body to keep it healthy and fit is called exercising. Exercising helps your bones stay strong. It makes your muscles bigger. It makes your lungs and heart stronger. It helps you fight germs and it can help you keep a good mood. You can exercise by hitting a baseball, kicking a soccer ball, jump roping, dancing, climbing a tree, rowing a boat, skating, or doing many other activities too. Just choose something that's fun for you and get moving every single day. Number three, sleep. After you've spent a day at work or play, you feel tired. This is a sign that you need to recharge your body. How can you do this? By going to sleep. Sleep rests your body and helps clear your mind for the next day. If you don't get enough sleep, you may feel grouchy and your brain won't work as well. Children need between 10 and 12 hours of sleep every night. That means that if you have to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning to get ready for school, you should be in bed sometime between 7 and 9 o'clock at night. A well-rested body will stay healthier too. Number four, keep clean. Yeah. Washing with soap and water will get rid of germs that can make you sick. So jump into that bubble bath or shower and scrub. Don't forget to wash your hair with shampoo, too. You will look, smell, and feel good. Wash your hands often during the day, before you eat, after you go to the bathroom, and whenever they just look dirty. When your fingernails look dirty, you should scrub underneath them with a brush. Washing your hands often is a great way to wash germs down the drain. And don't forget to brush your teeth at least twice a day. Use dental floss in between your teeth. This washes away the germs that can cause cavities. 
Then you will have a bright, clean smile that says, I take good care of my body. Number five, have checkups. Germs are all around us. They are on plants and animals, in food and water. Most of the times, germs don't harm us. But what if you wake up one morning with a headache, a fever, and a sore throat? Uh-oh, some germs have made you sick. Since your body has natural ways to fight most germs, you will probably feel better in a couple of days. If not, you should go see a doctor, like me, who can give you medicine to help you get well. Even when you're feeling terrific, it is important to have regular checkups with a pediatrician at least once a year. Your doctor will make sure you are healthy and growing. He or she will also help you from getting diseases by giving you vaccinations or other medicines. I always look forward to seeing how much my patients have grown when they come in for their wellness checkups right around their birthday. Well, there you have it. Dr. Wellbody's five fun and easy ways to take care of your body. I hope you'll try them all. And now before I go, let's give a healthy body cheer. Yes, yes, yes to veggies, to fruit and chicken too. No to too much candy because it's not good for you. Yes, yes, yes to washing, to exercise and rest because strong and healthy bodies are bodies at their best. All right, you guys may now go ahead and click on the Google form to answer the questions about today's read aloud.